Good morning, boys and girls. Today is April 3rd. It is Aloha Friday. On Fridays, your family challenge is a free choice. You can pick one of the challenge from above. I posted a choice board. Since we've been learning about germs all week long, your choices are going to be activities or challenges that involve you learning even more about germs. Um, there's a poster that you can make about proper hand washing or you can demonstrate proper hand washing by um, posting a video of yourself. There is also a poster you could make about sneezing. There's two experiments. One involves bread. Get two slices of bread. The first one, touch it up, get your hands all over it and put it in a Ziploc bag. And then with the other slice of bread, very carefully grab it with a tongs or a fork without touching it. Put that one in a Ziploc bag and watch them over several days and see what happens to the one you touched and the one you didn't. Um, then there's another science experiment that that really shows the power of soap and what it does to germs, okay? So have fun, just need to pick one, post a video or a picture of what you made or what you created um, up to your dojo portfolio, okay? Have fun with your family challenge. Your ELA assignment is to do some pages in your iReady packet. Um, you're going to be reading two stories today. Um, fairy tales one you know this one Cinderella but it's a different version of Cinderella okay and then you're going to be reading another Cinderella like story called the turkey girl okay then you're going to be answering the questions on page 33 34 and 35 and they're all multiple choice so um, it's not gonna take you that much time all right your next assignment for math is to complete page 14. Okay, we rarely, in stepping stones, we rarely ever see subtraction written like this, but this is called the standard algorithm. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to complete your work today using the standard algorithm. Okay, so it says here subtracting by regrouping. Okay, so the first step in doing this worksheet it says to circle the problems where you know you're going to have to regroup or we call it trading. So circle the problems like how number one is circled. Okay, so I'm, I have a few of the problems here I'm going to do with you today. Okay, so the first one is circled because I know I'm going to have to trade. I can kind of tell right away that trading is going to be involved because if I have 32 and I need to subtract 16 from 32, I already know that I don't have enough ones. I only have two ones and I'm supposed to subtract six. There's not enough. Okay. And so trading is going to be needed to, um, trading is needs to get done first before I can subtract successfully subtract 16. Okay. So how does that look? Well, I'm going to trade one ten. Or 10 ones. Okay, my ans my number here is still 32. I just have it written a little differently. I have it written as two tens and 12 ones. Okay, so I'm gonna show that up here. Okay, so I have two tens and I now have 12 ones. Do I still have 32? I do because two tens and 12 ones is still 32. I haven't subtracted anything yet. Okay. So now I am going to subtract. I'm going to subtract 16 now. Okay. I'm going to use blue to show my subtraction because I don't want to get confused with, with the trade. That's not a subtraction. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract. I'm going to minus one ten in blue and I'm going to minus six ones. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Okay, so the blue is showing, is representing the subtraction. All right, so now what do I have? So I had 12 ones and I subtracted six ones. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how, I, oh, I had it written already. Okay. So that's how I had 12 minus six is six. That's how I got six down there. Okay, now, I'm going to count how many ones I tens I have left. So I had two and I subtracted one, and so now I have only one. One ten left. Okay, so my answer is 16. Okay, let's look at another problem over here. And this one also comes from your worksheet. It's problem number two. Okay, 
So I have 48 and I need a minus 15. So I'm going to draw 48 down here. Okay. It says I have to subtract five ones. I do have enough. It says I have to subtract one ten, and I do have enough. So I'm not going to circle this one because this one doesn't need any trading. Okay, this one I can actually just subtract eight. I can subtract. I can subtract five minus eight, or um, eight minus five. So I'm taking away five. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. And I have three left, and I'm taking away one ten, and I have three tens left. Okay, so this one did not involve any trading at all. I had enough to subtract 15 in all um, in all place values. So I do not have to subtract. I do not have to circle two. Okay, let's look at number four. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied here. Okay, let's look at number four. Do you think I'm going to have to um, trade or regroup? Hmm. I have 63. 63 is six tens and three ones. And I need to subtract 39. What do you think? Let me draw it out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3. Okay, I need to subtract 39. Do I have enough to subtract 9 ones? I do not. So I, can, I know right away that I'm going to have to regroup for number 4. So I'm going to circle it just like how I did number 1. Okay, so... I'm going to represent 63 a little differently. And I'm going to do it by trading. Okay, so instead of 63 being represented as six tens and three ones, that's not convenient to subtract 39, I'm going to represent 63 as five tens and 13 ones. Now it is convenient for me to subtract 39. Okay, I'm going to do that with blue. Okay, so I have 13 ones here. I, all I have to do is subtract 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and after I subtract 9 from 13, I now have 4 ones left. Okay, I'm going to get out my blue again to subtract 3 tens. 1, 2, 3. After I subtract 3 tens, I now have 2 tens left over. All right, so that is how to use the standard algorithm. Okay, mom and dad, I'm sure, can help you a lot with the standard algorithm since we know, parents know how to do that method very well, okay? Um, if you look at your worksheet, there's not a whole lot of space to do any showing of work in between these problems. So I highly recommend that you use scrap paper, okay, and solve the problems out using your base 10 strategy as well and the algorithm. Have fun, bye.